Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God so much for the choir, the GNA praise team. Under the leadership of Sister Shade, can we just give the Lord a big clap offering for their lives? We thank God. Brother Leslie, all the instrumentalists, amen, our invited guests, amen. God bless all of you. Amen. Is that the power that is shaking? Yeah. Hallelujah. I want to thank God so much for all our invited pastors. God bless you. Amen. And let's also thank God for our father in the house, Pastor Joshua Jama. Hallelujah. We give God the glory for everyone. I just bring a short word. And I believe that the Lord will help us as we have praised, as we have worshipped, and more is yet to come. But let's just zero into the word of God right now. Father, I just thank you for this opportunity to be here tonight. I thank you, Lord, that the entrance of your word will bring light. That the short exhortation, oh God, will penetrate into the heart of every being and cause there to be a transformation and a change to the glory of God. None of me, but all of you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to go straight into Luke chapter 2. I will read the scriptures and I'll just share some bullet points. Luke chapter 2 verse 8. Amen. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with an angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God. God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them. Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. I want to bring you News Flash 2023. Amen. In the midst of us praising God, in the midst of the shepherds looking after their sheep, suddenly there was an heavenly being. And they look and they were startled. And I'm sure all of us have been like that. Your room has been dark and suddenly there is a flash of light. Hey, come on somebody. Can I see some honest people in the house? You will say, what is that? What is that? Amen. If there's somebody next to you, it's like you wake up and go and see. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. You talk, people know what I mean. But you see, they were startled. And you see, that news flash, I want to highlight tonight just 10 key things. What does the birth of Jesus mean? Number one is to release joy. And how much we experience joy in the house tonight? It says, I bring you good tidings of great joy. The birth of any baby will always bring joy. I don't know about you. Yes. Even people in there will just be saying, coo, 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 you know, all kind of things. Everybody loves something new. So Jesus signifies new life. And I don't know what your life has been up to now. You can say, Father, you brought joy. I received joy. I received that new life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Also, that news flash came to tell us a Savior has been born. Look to verse 11. For there is born to you this day in the city a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Savior means one who has come to deliver his people. And I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but there are some things that I want God to deliver me from. So that announcement is very welcome to me. Hallelujah. It also means Messiah means the anointed one. So it's not by might, not by power, but by the spirit of the living God is what we can accomplish. 
accomplish. Hallelujah. Yes. But you see, another thing that really gladdens my heart. He says, has been born to you. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. A baby has been born to you. I know how God personalizes. He's talking to everybody. He has come to save everybody, but he has come to save you. Amen. So you can synchronize your life to that. say, I want to align myself to the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. I want to celebrate him for myself. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what is happening on the news, whether people are just commercializing it, but you know the reason for the season. And that is why you need to praise him tonight. He has come for you, for you and for you. So as you are opening your Christmas present, I don't know how many packages you have, but you can open the package of the Lord Jesus Christ. And say thank you for the gift of salvation. Hallelujah. Also, the announcement is refocusing our worship back to God. And that is what we have done today. Glory to God in the highest. Amen. Amen. That it is not any man, it is not any system, it is not any government, it is to God and God alone Amen. that deserve all our presence. Amen. Because at the end of the day, that breath inside of you is from the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And I know you know some people who have passed away and people are mourning, but you are still have bread. Let everything in the house. I said, if you have bread, that's said, praise the name of Jesus. So it's to refocus us. It's to refocus us back to worshiping God. He also releases peace. Hallelujah. He said, peace on earth. And God has said, my peace I give to you not as the world gives. Hey! People can tap into all kind of things, but there is nothing like the peace of God. There is nothing like you putting your bed on the pillow. He said, I don't care what pill is coming next day. I know my God has got you taken care of. I have peace that passes all understanding. Hallelujah. Also, God has demonstrated his goodwill. Goodwill means favor, kindness. You are favored of the Lord. Hallelujah. Did he not say to Mary, oh Mary, thou highly and favored one. Hallelujah. You put your name in it as well. That this Christmas, I am favored of the Lord. Hallelujah. And in all this announcement, that announcement requires a response. Amen. It requires your thanksgiving, which is what we have done. Because in verse 13 to 14, the angels were praising the Lord. Hallelujah. They were rejoicing. I don't know what has happened, just like our brother said. Even the things that has not happened, it is still an answer to prayer. Because if God should give us everything that we desire, hey, I don't know about you. There are times I look back on those lips and say, Father, thank you, you didn't answer this one. Hallelujah. Because he knows the end from the beginning and the beginning from the end. Hallelujah. So it requires a response. It also requires for you to consider Jesus. You see, the angels, the, the, the shepherd said, let us go and see. Hallelujah. You need to give yourself time this Christmas season. Let me check out this God one more time. Maybe you are here and you don't know Jesus. You can spend this time and say, I don't know what all the rush. You see all the dance moves. I, I was just trying to behave myself. You, <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All those things. But at the quietness of your moment, you need to ask. Who am I praising? Come on. Yes. Why am I praising him? Yes. Do I really know this Jesus? If the trumpet should sound today, if the owner of that life should come, come knocking at your door and say, it is time to exit life. Are you ready to face your maker? Are you ready to answer when the trumpet comes? He said, come, let us go and check. And in checking, they were able to worship him. Another response was, they shared good news. They didn't keep it to themselves. If you have been delivered, if you have experienced the goodness of God, it calls for you, hallelujah, to share the good news. Hallelujah. And later on in verse 20, they returned after seeing Jesus praising God. That meant it didn't just stop at tonight. Your praises should continue. Let no man kill your joy. Let no woman kill your joy. Let no circumstances silence your mouth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So it should continue. Manchester, praise the Lord. Should continue tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Let the praises of God in your mouth that you have received tonight. Let him come. He said, be joyful at all times. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God concerning him. So let's close our eyes and just begin to talk to God and begin to thank him that Father, I thank you tonight. I thank you for the opportunity to come, to join with the angels, to praise you, to honor you, to worship you. I thank you for the opportunity to come to check you out. And I have not been disappointed. Father, tonight I want to
to surrender myself afresh to you. Hallelujah. Those shepherds went to Jesus and they worshipped. They bowed down. They laid down their crowns. They laid down their gifts. They laid down everything. I want to give you an opportunity that today will be a memorable time in your life. If you do not know Jesus in the house, if you have not given your heart to Jesus, if the trumpet should sound and you are not sure if you will make heaven, whilst every eye is closed, can you just put your hand up? Hallelujah. Put your hand up and say, I want Jesus to come into my heart. I see one hand there. I see two hands. That you really mean business. Maybe you've been, you know, one leg in one leg out. But you have made up your mind that from today henceforth, I want to mean business with God. I want that today, the 16th of December, will be the day I can record that I gave my life to the Lord. I see those two hands. Anybody else? Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for those two hands that have lifted up their hands. Whether it's the tenth time that they have given their today will be the finality. That they will understand what it means to be born in you. They will give their heart completely to you. That they will know that all things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Give them the power, oh God, to become a child of God in the name of Jesus. And for those who have lifted their hands, if you're looking for a church, well, there is a church. But if you find somewhere close to you, just find a Bible-believing church. And I know your life will not remain the same. God bless you. Have a great night.